Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a test, a first boil test, on this World Stove Pup Stove, where uh, two cups of water starting at 52 degrees came to a boil in 12 minutes and 17 seconds. What I want to do today, it's funny, hope you heard me there, it's funny, uh, in that test I made a pot stand that kept the bottom of the pot from the top of the stove at two inches this one that was what uh, Nate from World Stove suggested using I got a bunch of people saying how about one inch see what it would look like at one inch so I made another pot stand and now this distance is uh, one inch these are half inch squares on hardware cloth and this is what the stove looks like it's in two parts the center tube with rows of holes. Now these aren't holes, just holes drilled in. They're drilled in at an angle to give you a vortex inside the burner. And it just slips down like that. Uh, I've got the one cup of wood pellets, or rather I should say a hundred grams of wood pellets. I'm gonna have to try another burn later with regular wood. I think this wood pellet is just really sooty. Okay, that's 100 grams of wood pellets. I've got a quarter square, it's getting windy again, quarter square of the uh, fire starter squares from Safe Light. Basically, it's wood chips that have been buried in wax. Use that for a starter. Just like that. Let's light this. Yep. The uh, fire starter square is taking off. Okay, what I'm going to do is just like yesterday, I'm going to let this burn. I said five minutes, but yesterday it ended up about four because it was the... Uh, wood pellets started up by that time. So let me cut the camera here. I'll be back in four or five minutes depending on how this takes off and we'll start the test from there. Be right back. Okay there it is. Just about four and a half minutes. It looks like the pellets have taken off so that's pretty much the pellet fire. What I have here is two cups of water setting at 41 degrees. the temperature out here must be cooling off. I'll have to check the, th the temperature because it was higher than that. But 41 degrees and let's see what happens from there. Okay, there we have 210. This is going to take a while. 211. Passed yesterday at 12:21. It looked like, huh? 12:21. Let me write that down. Okay, I'll check back on the the film, but because I just looked down. All right, now that's confusing. Here we have two cups of water starting at 41 degrees. Outside temperature is 40. Uh, even breezier than yesterday. See, it's moving stuff around. Now that I opened it up. You'll see down below, I'll give you the times from yesterday. But this was only like 12 or 13 seconds slower by knocking the pot stand down an inch. This one I used yesterday. It made the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot two inches. This one today, 
makes it one inch. So, I don't know what to say about that. Let me dump this. And we have soot. Again, I don't think this is from the stove necessarily. I think it's from using wood pellets. Wood pellets seem to always, even though it's concentrated energy, let's say, 100 grams of wood pellets is a much smaller container than, say, 100 grams of the wood chips that I'll be using at the next test. But whatever the binder is, I think is what's making all the soot. This burner now has been going for almost 19 minutes. I'm going to let it burn out to see what kind of uh, chips are left over. What kind of, it should be carbon, not ashes, but rather carbon. Because this is supposed to be a carbon negative stove. Sorry, it's always hard at the end of these tests because my head is thinking of things instead of talking on the, on the screen. So, hmm, I'm going to have to ask John about that or do some other tests and see what happens. Because if does a one inch really make that much of a difference over two inches or vice versa? I think you can see on the camera. Yep. Still have a really nice burn there. If I could show you this, the uh, jets are whirling around in here. Lots of glowing embers. Hmm. So, I'm going to cut it here and write this up and upload the video for those that asked for the shorter pot stand. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.